Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Dana, and I'm here with David Hess, an awesome writer, and just published his latest book. And I will let him tell you all about it. But first, David, tell us about yourself. Two sentences or less. Hi, Dana. Thanks. Thanks for having me over here. A little bit about me in two sentences. Okay. Uh, I started writing when I was seriously writing when I was about 57 years old. Uh, and up to date, this is my fourth book. I've written three novels and one, one book of short stories uh, based on post-traumatic stress uh, disorders with soldiers and law enforcement. So you didn't start writing until you were 57. Wow. Yeah, I was a late bloomer. Late bloomer. Okay, I can see that. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so did you ever write when you were young? Uh, not really. In fact, I ended up going to summer school for English, if that, that gives you a little bit of a hint where I was at when I was a kid. But when I was in Vietnam, I had a friend who was killed, and I wrote a short story about him. And I thought to myself, someday I'm going to write a book about this guy. And of course, I put that away and forgot about it. And then when I retired, I actually came across it in a, in a box of papers and books. And I thought to myself, and I'm going to try to write a, this book that I've thought about 40 years ago. And I sat down, I started writing. And with the invention of computers, I was able to write because prior to that, trying to write on a typewriter, uh, it didn't quite work for me. I was not, not up to using the erase tape every five seconds. So when the computers came out and I came across that story, I thought, well, now's the time. And I was, I was able to knock out 320 pages in only three years. In how many years? <laughs> <laughs> three years it took three me years. to write the first book. Well, well, the first one is always the, the long one here, right? Yeah. Uh, um, so, you know, tell me about your latest book. And what inspired it? Uh, the latest book is Ella, Tale of Love, War, and Redemption. It's been out for about a month and a half, two months. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do a book launch because of the viral problem. Uh, it's, it's a Civil War book, and it's completely different than anything else I've written. Uh, it's based very loosely on my great-great-grandfather who fought at Gettysburg with the 151st Volunteer Infantry, which was a unit that was put together for nine months. They were supposed to go and guard Washington, D.C. That's what they were put together for. They were out of Pike County and several other counties, and they were only going to be there nine months. Well, unfortunately for the 151st, uh, they got sent to Chancellorsville, where they saw limited action. And shortly thereafter, they were still getting ready to muster out and Gettysburg happened. And they were sent to Gettysburg to fight. Uh, unfortunately for them, they, they weren't really well trained and they were the second most casualties of the war at Gettysburg. So I didn't know really any of this about my grandfather until recently. And then I started doing a little research and found out about this 151st Volunteer Infantry, and I was fascinated by it. So many of, much of the stories uh, revolve around Nicholas Half. He is the main character. And he has a young girlfriend from the time he is a, just a kid. And he goes off to war when he's 18. And on his way back, he, he's visualizing how great life is going to be when he gets back to Pike County, Pennsylvania. And he's going to marry Ella, and life is going to be good, and they're going to have a farm. And it doesn't quite work out like that. Uh, we see the forerunner to post-traumatic stress in Nicholas. Uh, back then, they called it battle fatigue or soldier's disease. Uh, but he is a strong character and he doesn't get what he wants in life and he moves on and throughout the book we find all kinds of twists and turns we find some very evil people find some very kind people uh 
Nicholas himself is a very kind person. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to go into any more because I don't want to ruin the ending for you. But there are five strong women characters in the book, which I didn't realize until I finished the book. And my editor brought it to my attention. He said, you, you realize that all the women in this book are very, very strong characters. And uh, it, that makes it interesting for, for women readers, I guess, if, if I want to be politically incorrect. Uh, but there are some great women characters in the book. I have read the book and I, I concur. It's like, I think the, the women characters are the most interesting. I mean, Nicholas is, is the, the leader of it, but that's why the book is named Ella, you know? It is, it's, it's about the women that he meets. And um, I, I love the book actually, if I can give you a unbiased review here. Thank you very much, David. If anybody wants to buy his books and I strongly advise it, actually I've read three of them now, is hessbooks.net. You can buy the books there. The Kindle versions are available on Amazon. So you just go to Amazon and, and look up David Hess and the word Ella and you will find the books that he's written for both a, a soft cover and the Kindle version. Anyway, thank you very much, David. Well, you're welcome. And if I can add one more thing, sure. uh, the book is also available through the mail to me. If you want a signed copy uh, to David Hess, P.O. Box 20024 in Scranton, Pennsylvania, 18502, and it's 1750. Check our money order, and I will sign your books. And if you want it made out to someone else, or if you want a notation, then I'll be glad to do that. So thank you, Dana. I appreciate you having me over here. Well, thank you, David. I can't wait to get to see you in person one of these days. Yeah, it'll be fun as soon as the virus goes away. Well, yeah. So, all right. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye. <laughs>